You can always count on Bose for new headphones and improvements to its current lineups each season. Right now, that's the Quiet Comfort earbuds. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets International, and in this review, I've got my hands on a pair of the new Bose Quiet Comfort noise canceling earbuds. I'll show you what's been upgraded and improved. I'll check out the sound quality and test the special features, and I'll wrap things up by going over the pros and the cons and let you know if I think I can recommend these earbuds for you. I'd like to thank Bose for supplying a test pair of earbuds here for me to try out here in my home. While the company did send me a pair at no charge, it didn't ask for or receive permission to have any input into this review, so these thoughts are all my own. The Bose Quiet Comfort lineup can seem a bit confusing with a lot of the products getting the same Quiet Comfort branding without maybe much differentiation. First, there's the original Quiet Comfort earbuds, which were released in about 2020. I reviewed them. Next came the Quiet Comfort earbuds Ultra. Well, I found the Ultra earbuds very comfortable and with terrific noise cancellation and sound quality, the price tag was a bit of a turnoff and the battery wasn't the best. And don't confuse the Quiet Comfort earbuds second gen with the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2. Launched back in 2022, those earbuds featured the same oval shaped design as their predecessor. The new QC buds, and I've got the chilled lilac color here, include the buds, of course, with different ear tips and stability bands, which help hold them in place in your ear. There's also the smaller but still a bit chubby pill-shaped charging case and a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. To take advantage of some of the extra features, you'll want to download the Bose QC earbuds app. And as a quick aside, Bose seems to have multiple apps for its headphone products and finding the right one isn't always easy. Fortunately, when you put these into pairing mode and go to connect to your phone, it should prompt you to download the correct version, and that's the Bose QC app. Right out of the gate, I like the design of these earbuds a little better than the previous versions. While they are still a bit chunky, they seem a little more streamlined at the same time. They have a nice oval design that's easy to grip and remove from the case. While there are plenty of edges and ridges too, everything is really nicely softened. Despite the suave look, these feel pretty durable and substantial while also feeling light in the ear. One of the big issues ladies like me have with earbuds is that they tend to be designed for men's ears, making them extremely bulky and often painful in a woman's ear. I'm glad to say it appears these have been trimmed down a touch. While they do fill the ear concha, the fit isn't tight. While Bose has designed these to be a little more low profile, they do still stick out enough from the ears that they're probably both very noticeable and would be unsuitable for side sleepers if you're a bedtime earbud advocate. Let's get right to the important parts, and that's the sound quality. I listened to a variety of audio on these buds over about a week. I started out listening to YouTube videos, and I found the voice replication was excellent, and the audio was perfectly in sync with the video. I moved on to listening to music, and I covered a wide variety of genres over my seven days. The sound quality is not surprisingly really great, with lots of subtlety and an outstanding balance of clear highs with deeply resonant bass. The audio quality was amazing whether I was grooving to Chromio, working out to Eminem or Busta Rhymes, or chilling to jazz or lo-fi hip-hop during the workday. I'm glad to report that the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds second gen addressed one of my main complaints with the Ultra, and that's the battery life. Expect a fully charged pair of Quiet Comfort Earbuds to run for about eight and a half hours with the charging case providing a further 21 hours. There's also Qi wireless charging here too. These buds use touch controls for adjustments. Tap gestures on earbuds can often be confusing or work intermittently unless you hit the absolute sweet spot on the side of each earbud. These actually seem to work quite well during my testing period and I like the fact that you can use the Bose QC app to fully customize the actions behind a single, double or triple tap on either the left or the right earbud so that those sequences will work for you and make sense for you. It's almost unheard of nowadays for a premium pair of headphones to be without two key features. That's noise cancellation and a wear mode. Noise cancellation, of course, is designed to block out extraneous sounds from bleeding in, while a wear mode will deliberately pipe ambient sound into your buds if you do need to keep an ear out for something. Several things can affect the quality of noise cancellation, including the fit of your earbuds, which is why it's really important to make sure you're wearing the right size ear tips and that you have a good seal created. To test out noise cancellation, I always run the same type of test. I engage the noise cancellation setting, but I don't play any audio. That way I can really hear how much sound might be bleeding in. 
With the Bose QC Buds Gen 2, I found the noise cancellation was really good at blocking out any type of sound, even when it was playing right in front of me. I'd say the noise cancellation succeeds at blocking out about 90 to 95% of all noise intrusion on its own. With almost any kind of music or audio playing, the noise cancellation succeeds admirably in creating a total cone of silence. When it comes to the aware mode, I found it was able to pipe in sound extremely effectively while also giving it a very natural sound, not like it's being piped through earbuds or through a tiny tunnel, but almost as if you're not wearing any earbuds at all. In short, I give both the noise cancellation and the aware mode a 9 or a 10 out of 10. The earbuds also offer a special low latency audio mode for gamers or media lovers who demand more synchronized audio. The Buds have an IPX4 water resistance rating, allowing them to function just fine in light rain, splashes, or with some sweat. But keep in mind the charging case doesn't have any water protection. These headphones are also multi-point, which is the option of connecting to two devices at one time, meaning you can switch audio playback between them. This is a feature I really appreciate in headphones, and it means I can keep them connected to my phone and tablet simultaneously. There are a few other features in these earbuds, including EQ presets, which allow you to use a handful of preset sound modes to change how the sound comes through. You can use voice control to control the headphones so you never need to reach for your phone, and something called fast mute lets you quickly mute or unmute your mic during phone calls and video calls with just a quick press on the headphones. There's even a gimmicky setting called remote selfie, which allows you to use your headphones and the voice control or touch controls to have your smartphone camera take a photo. Cheers to Bose for offering a fiercely competitive noise cancelling product for a much improved price that includes a noticeably elevated audio experience compared to other wireless earbuds in those budget tiers. Let's go over the pros and the cons of these so you can see if they might be right for you. On the pro side, the sound quality is outstanding and the noise cancellation and aware modes are top tier. The fit and comfort of these has been greatly improved and it means they're a lot more comfy to wear for longer stretches. The battery life is also pretty good and well within standards and with Qi wireless charging you get yet another premium level feature at a more affordable price. I also have to shout out to the new lilac color, which is subtle but cool. And I'm a huge fan of the multi-point connection, and I can say Bose QC Earbuds app actually provides a lot of options for customization and adjustment. So what are the downsides? It's been hard trying to find things to crack on. I suppose some of the biggest complaints people might have is that the charging case is still pretty chunky compared to other competitors, and the earbuds do still stick out quite substantially from the ears. In short, I think these are a great pair of premium sounding earbuds from a top-notch audio brand now offered at a more affordable price, and I can definitely recommend Bose QuietComfort earbuds second generation to you. Bose QuietComfort second gen earbuds sell for about $249 Canadian or $179 US, and you can get them from places like Bose, Best Buy, or Amazon. And if you want to see what jumping up into a higher tier of audio is like, check out the Bose QC Ultras that I mentioned, or see what I thought of the original QuietComfort earbuds right now.